so with all this lapis, I'm all but guaranteed to get Abigail. So the question is, do I go tickets or do I go step up? And to answer that, I'll first look at the special card paired with the step up. As might be expected for a special card, the stats are nothing to scoff at, boasting the best pairing for magic tanks in the game. Adding Freezy a Super Trustmaster reward, a guts buff, and elemental resistance for all Final Fantasy Brave Exodus units only makes this better. Strong stats and elemental resistance will very rarely let you down, and compared to all the offensive stats of niche elemental bonuses, pairing this with a tank will be a far more common occurrence. But in all honesty, I don't think I've ever had any problems with my magic tanks, so personally I'm going to skip this for now. I'll definitely be on the watch list if it ever shows up again though, but let's just go through the tickets first instead. I see we're casually starting off with a rainbow, as could be expected with my luck up. Nope, nope, never mind, it wasn't a Neo Vision. As could be expected from my luck, I see we're going to be starting off a blue crystal, of course. Which will turn into... A gold crystal, which will then turn into... And what comes after gold? A rainbow! Nope, okay. So in all honesty, I do think it might be as good a time as any to get another magic tank. I don't actually have CISO, meaning my go-to magic tanks are either Ash or Chow. Both are great, of course, but Abigail here looks- Oh, a rainbow! Okay, very nice, very nice. I don't think we've even made it to 12 tickets yet. Looks good, nope, okay. Last well. His Super Trust Master reward can be upgraded, of course, but as you might already expect, I've already upgraded that. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're releasing... Well, I guess they are releasing a new last while. When it comes to tanks, the one thing that set Wunda apart was that even now there's no one who can reliably maintain 80% physical mitigation buffs. That went for general mitigation buffs too, but of course now we have Abigail here. Ultimately, 75% and below is usually reliably covered by a tank, though there's a nice handful of units who can provide that level too. Aha! Rainbow! Now we just have to wait for it to become a Neo Vision so we can get the first Neo Oh, okay, great, great, great. So all we have to do is get Abigail right here right now so that way I don't have to spend any more tickets. Eh, oh no. It's a guy who starts at the letter A. You know, well, now I can get it. Now, nah, now I can get Axtar's Super Trust Master reward. Again. Hooray. Now I have two Axtar Super Trust Master rewards. Maybe they'll buff them or something, and I'll be super happy. They did buff Neo Vision Rain Sword, but I think that was only because he was being free. And in the end, I don't think it really gave him anything else. Yeah, I don't remember any extra passive effect like bonus attack or something, so I don't think this Axtar will get, mm, nope, a Leon. Let's see, Final Fantasy 2. I don't really know anything about that, but I do know that guy's Super Trust Master reward is good for beavers. What is that about? Why can he speak beaver? Put more things into perspective, it's not just the mitigation levels. Abigail's cover values are actually much better than the other three tanks too. Charlotte, Ciso, Ash, all of them are from like 65 to 80 percent. Chao is 70 to 85 percent too, but his mitigation levels are actually much lower, 60 percent as compared to say 75 percent or 70 percent on their limit burst. I think Ash and Charlotte had 70 percent, Ciso had 75 percent, but then you compare Abigail's 80 and 85 percent and she has the 70 uh, Abigail's damage really does suck though. Even outside of Clash of Wills, well, outside of Clash of Wills, it's only 900 with a triple cast. And even inside of it, it's 1500. And I should be excited, there's a Neo Vision right here, what am I doing? Oh, it's not her. Uh, actually, that's a good unit though. Olive? I think I can get her to EX plus 2 now. Finally, I can get her Super Trust Master reward. Okay, that's a good balance. If it weren't for the fact that I, I messed up with two Neo Visions now. One third drop rate, okay. Which means the next time, well, the last time I said that, I also ended up not getting the featured unit and had to go to the pity. Hi, post-production here. Did you know this stupid shriek that you're watching? That I'm taking the time to edit all of this out just so it goes by so much faster. Goes all the way on, in a row, for 22! That's 22 without a rainbow or a Neo Vision, but mostly just a rainbow. Okay, we're closing in. Oh, okay. All right, there goes the shriek. Well, finally. Oh my goodness, I just kept... It's the first Neo Vision Awaken unit ever. 
I already have her at EX plus 3, and even if I didn't, the EX coins. I have so many of them anyways. Where do I, where do I even get them from? You know, every time I get a rainbow or a Neo Vision, and then I go for the next ticket, I keep thinking that I'm just going to go into the neck of the woods, not knowing how deep this bit- Oh, what the, okay, that was fast. Alright, I guess that's just to offset it, but three up, oh, Neo Vision! Alright, three, 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 one third, this is gonna be Abigail, yes! No, oh, it is! I don't know why I'm so surprised, alright, that's great! So I could just keep going for- No, there's no reason to keep going for a Vision card. I don't need that. If I think about the other vision card, the Lilith one, the special one, I didn't get that one either, but I haven't needed it either either. Either either. <laughs> Anyways, the regular cards are good second places too. So I guess that's it for today.